Hello, hello, my name is Miguel, codename The Ultimate Gamer 03. There's a DeLorean outside my house. It came out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from. Let's go! Holy shit, you guys. Glory, it disappeared, but it left these two things outside my house. Marty McFly, Doc Brown, two, three, four, inch, forty, forty, four, action figure, back to the future. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Back to the future. Wait, what time is it? October 21st, 2015. Exactly 4:29 p.m. Oh my God! The rumors are true. They are all true. What is up, you guys? Welcome to Game Here. Welcome to a brand new tour review. Today is a special episode. Today we are reviewing the uh, main two characters from the all three movies of Back to the Future. Today we're reviewing Marty McFly and Doc Brown, the three and three fourth inch uh, fully posable action figure. Now I did do a little skit at the beginning there, and today is um, October 21st, 2015. It is exactly 4:29 p.m. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the, in the second Back to the Future movie, they travel to this exact time, except in the movie they had flying cars. Nowadays we have crappy cars that still run on wheels and shit. But anyways, they had hoverboards as well, which we're over here with these roller. Skate these roller electric skateboard thing on my jiggers that are pieces of shit that cost money for no apparent fucking reason. Anyways, on the back it says Marty McFly, Doc Brown, George McFly, and Biff Tannen. So, this is pretty badass. This is made by Funko and Reaction. Um, but it, it was really fun making that uh, beginning where it said like. October 21st, 2015, 429 p.m. It still is right now. The clock, my clock just froze like that. So it's going to be like that the whole video. Anyways, you guys, let's unbox the, these figures and review them. And by the way, sadly, I don't have my DeLorean figure out. Um, the, uh, not sure, uh, the Universe Studios exclusive, which had all three of them. Uh, I don't have any of those out, sadly. But I will try to make a little stop motion with them. Hopefully, I'll be able to find all three of those cars. Maybe the first one, at least. Um, anyways, let's unbox these two classic beauties out of their packaging and show you guys how they are. So, first we're going to take a look at Michael J. Fox's character, which is M Marty McFly. Uh, whoops. And, um... <clears throat> He does come with an accessory, which is his skateboard, which the wheels don't lose, sadly, but it's still pretty cool to let, pose him with. You can put him on top as I had him before he fell over. Kind of get him on. It's hard when you got one hand, because I'm holding the tablet. Yeah, cool. uh, but you can still have him uh, look like he's holding it on his arm. And... Uh, if you look really close at him, he he is wearing exactly what he wore in the movie. He has very great detailing. You know, for a figure that looks like he came out in the 1970s, or my bad, 1980s, or 1990s, it looks way better than what Hasbro can fucking do now. But hey, this is not a ranting video, this is a review. Uh, now, Marty's head does rotate 360 degrees so it is um you can make them turn side to side or if you want him to look like the x is and you can put his head backwards too his arms do rotate 360 degrees as well and so does his other arm now his legs don't really go back because they will break but they do sit down but uh, they do get into like a sitting down pose, but it's pretty hard without breaking the legs. It is very stiff and scary. So you can have them like that. Oh, okay, maybe not. Um, as I was saying, you can have them like that. Okay, maybe not. 
you can almost okay there we go. you can have them sitting down if you have like a uh, bigger DeLorean you can probably fit them in there recreate the movie um which is pretty cool honestly um we do have the white sneakers Let's see there and then we have the blue jeans we have like um like a vest the orange vest and then we have the college shirt, the blue, blue on blue, with the red one inside, the red little uh, stripe one, I think it was, I forgot. Um, Marty does have very good uh, detail in the face. Though there was a little paint mess up right here on his thumbs, you can see it's like kind of blue. I don't know why that <laughs> was there. But it, this figure is very cool. You do have like the words on the back, uh, the print, the copyright. Uh, yeah, basically like, the copyright. Uh, uh, Funko LLC 2014, made in China. And this is like the perfect time to be reviewing this figure. Exactly 4:29 p.m. October 21st, because this is like the only time. And forever, this is ever going to happen. Because after today, after today, after um, October 21st, it's done. Like, everything is over. This is, like, probably the only day uh, ever. And everywhere they're playing uh, Back to the Future, they're interviewing the whole cast again, reuniting them, and it's pretty cool. So... I did bring out the main character of the film who did manage to break and crack time travel. Here we have Christopher Lloyd's um, character, which is probably the, one of my favorite characters in the film. Here we have Dr. Emmett Brown. Now we do have his sort of lab co, I guess, from... Uh, Brown Industries, I think it was some of that. Uh, Brown Enterprises, something. Uh, this one you can also sit him down too, so that's rotation on his legs. His is not as stiff as Marty's. Arms do rotate 360 degrees. And yeah, so this is the other one. I'm gonna back up. So his head does also rotate 360. Degrees. We do have the nice white hair, which I really do like about Doc, which is his hair. We do have his brown shoes, his sort of like white uh, vest suit or something like that. His utility belt. Wait a minute, no. Right? I think so. His pocket protector. He's got a little something in there. Don't know what that is. Uh, his eyes are like really Brown, which I also didn't notice with Marty's. So they have the same, uh, not face paint, my bad, uh, fa same eye paint. Uh, his eyebrows are white compared to Marty's, which are brown. You do have, like, the hair comb bag, which is pretty cool. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure his hair was, like, sticking up in the movie. But hey, what can I say? Now he does come with an accessory as well, which is the re remote control to the DeLorean time machine. With, if you remember in the first movie, spoilers. Um, when he puts uh, Einstein inside DeLorean and uses the remote to make the DeLorean go 88 miles per hour, causing it to time travel. Um, now, one of uh, Doc, Dr. Emmer Brown's Browns is, uh, uh, greatest, uh, not greatest, my bad, uh, number one most well-known quote will always be Great Scott. We also did get, um, uh, he did make cameo in a couple of stuff, for example, a Nike's commercial. Um, what else was it? Uh, a Million Ways to Die in the West. He did make a big cameo, which was uh, pretty funny if, uh, if you've seen the scene. And he did make a cameo also in uh, something that recently came out, which was the trailer to the Lego Dimensions. Uh, Back to the F Lego Back to the Future expansion pack, I think it was, or like little um, world or dimension, whatever. I don't play the game, so I wouldn't know what they're called. And he did, he did again say his great Scott quote, which was pretty cool. Um, Lucas really is pretty old now. It's 
Uh, I still hope they make a Back to the Future 4 and bring back the old cast. That would be really cool in my opinion. Um, you can really have these in a lot of poses actually. You can like, have them together, you can have like, if you have a DeLorean you can have them with the remote controls like looking at it. If you have a figure that also looks like Einstein, that'll look really good too next time. And Marty as well. That would look really cool. Overall, these figures are really good. If you can find these in any store, such as Toys R Us in a collector's store, or if you can uh, get them off like eBay or Amazon or the internet or something, I recommend buying these. These would look really good in a diorama on your shelf. Along with the DeLorean uh, miniature version, or if you have the Lego Dimensions uh, Marty figure, you can have him right there with the DeLorean and have like a awesome set. These figures are very recommended in my opinion. This is a ten out of ten, and I ho I hope you guys do get these figures because they are very worth it. I did get these for about um, forty five bucks each. So that's about maybe 90 bucks, almost 100. And these are really worth it. These figures were worth all of that money. And I, I really do think it was worth getting these toys. Especially to review them on the one and only day. Which I've been mentioning in this whole video, which is October 21st, 2015. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, time travelers. I'll see you in the next year. Or maybe sometime in time. See you later. Hey guys, I'm Gimme here, and if you don't know much or have not yet seen Back to the Future, remember you are able to get it on Blu-ray and DVD. You can own it now at any store near you. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.